what does 1800 tequila taste like? It tastes like victory. 1800, the world's most awarded tequila. What does 1800 tequila taste like? It tastes like victory. 1800, the world's most awarded tequila. DoorDash, dash that delicious and nutritious, dash that savory and sweet. Get zero dollar delivery fees on your first order. DoorDash, dash that. Hello, Curling fans, and welcome back to Curling Live's continuing coverage of the ATB Financial Okotoks Curling Classic. A good look there at our matchup tonight, a B final between Leeside Curling Club's John Epping and Savile Sports Center's Karsten Sturmey. John Cullen alongside Chelsea Carey once again on the call with you, and we're joining the game in progress here. And Chelsea, perhaps no surprise given what we saw out of John Epping and what yeah, we sort is. of know about Karsten Sturmey. Rocks in play already. Yeah, speed. John Epping is not afraid of rocks. You, uh, you can't uh, take that away from him. He likes to play with a lot of rocks in play. It's just his style of game. So to the surprise of no one, we have some rocks in play early. Carson Sturmey starting out with hammer. He actually covered the pin on his draw to the button and go. then threw the second one with no sweeping and just about covered the button on Wait, that one too. So hey, you're good. Tough Eli. mountain for John Epping to climb, and he slid just past the button yep. on his first one. So Karsten starting with hammer. T-line. And, of course, yep. it's a new look lineup Whoa. here for Karsten Sturmey. That's a phrase yep. we've said a few times this season. Or, sorry, even just this Amazing. event Whoa. already. Whoa. 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 But uh, Karsten Sturmey, of course, is the skip at third, J.D. Lind. Second is Kyle Deering. And lead is Curtis Goler. J.D. Lind making his return to competitive play. If you're a big curling fan, you may know him yeah. as the uh, coach of Team Fujisawa. One of the, he's one of the Japanese national coaches and has been working with their women's program for quite some time now, but resides in Calgary when he's not in Japan and is going to be playing a few events with Team Sturme this year. Hard! Yeah, J.D., a great, great Hard. player. Just, Karsten said to me earlier today Hard. that he dragged him out of retirement, and I said, good call, because <laughs> he's too talented to be retired. But he's also an incredible coach. So um, Coach Charlie Thomas at a juniors, played with Charlie in juniors, and then coached him at a junior worlds, I believe, and then yep. got into coaching Team Japan and has done amazing things with that program, medals at the Olympics and at the World Championships and all those kinds of good things. And J.D., obviously a huge instrumental part in that. Also was our lifeline when we were in Japan for the first time because he speaks a little bit of Japanese and he knew all the good spots because he lived in Sapporo, which is where we were. So it was really cool to have him there. Yeah, great guy, great player, great teammate, I think. So really good pickup for Karsten. And Karsten, obviously, super talented coming out of that uh, University of Alberta Golden Bears program. Half. Yeah, JD, one of those guys, you talk about him being a good teammate. One of those guys, just tough to find anybody that has a bad word to say about JD yeah, you Lynn. Just, can't. just a really, really good guy. I would like to meet anyone who does because I don't <laughs> understand how it would be possible. Yeah, they're more likely they're, oh, right, they're right. the problem. <laughs> yeah, probably. That uh, would be my guess. So, yeah, it's nice right to see JD center. back out here. As you said, Chelsea, very good curler. If he hadn't gone the coaching route, probably not an exaggeration to say he'd have a couple Alberta men's titles under his belt. Uh, just that that level of good. And, and, yeah, like you said, 2007, Coach Charlie Thomas at the World Juniors. And JD, I believe at the time, was 22 years old when he did that. So, uh, certainly right. caught the coaching bug early and has been uh, instrumental in that well, Japanese we program. You go look at it. Unless you want to play it like and just what? bunt into it. Well, I just I just don't want to throw a heater at it and then have. Well, exactly like. 
So we can see well, no, John Epping lying down, too early sure. here. The one goes over top. We still have this guy. Like the nice news is you'll have to play. see a different mm -hmm. path to get it's around kind of and right? we start ramming and we get like some I, I know he's probably thinking those So that was my one thought. Like your other thought is you play like kind of just a heavy draw into it. The only thing is we're playing, we're playing a draw on the side nobody's played. I kind of like, like whatever Kyle kind of likes. Like, like I mean you can't. Definitely like when he's you, feeling like it, you need to throw enough weight if you're hitting this to make sure it goes. Like throwing board doesn't help. What 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 do you what what do you, what do you like? Well, so we could either like heavy draw priest tap, yeah, or just go peel and get the one out of there. Yeah, the dash and see if we can yeah. spin it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? That's fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but this this should hopefully stay kind of open, right? Yeah, like yeah. that's gonna stay open. The one's Kay. gonna go over top. He has to throw a draw in a sure. new path. I, I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. So there's some discussion here, Chelsea, I guess, about whether they want to draw, whether they want to rip. Looks like they've decided that they want to try and rip and at least get rid of this top red one. Yeah, I think that the draw we got a couple biters, conversation so was a heavy draw. It was to kind of move yeah. him around and stay on the nose. The the concern there of, of Karsten's being that no one's thrown there. So backline waiters seem like they're an easy shot, and they are once you know the ice. But in the first end, they can be tricky because it might be a few feet heavier, might have some fresh pebble and really curl, or it could run good and run straight. Hard. And so it's just a bit of a guess. So this way, they just throw hard. They take all that question out of it. You try to kill one of these reds. Move the other one back. Open up that forefoot a little bit. It's a safer play for yeah, sure. Nice. And Kyle Deering makes no mistake. And curling fans who know Kyle Deering know he made one of the greatest shots <laughs> in curling history at the Canada Winter Games. He was about 14 years old, weighed 47 pounds, soaking wet. Made an insane, uh, insane triple. If you've never seen it, open a new window, go over to YouTube, put in Kyle Deering's name, and you'll, you'll see it. But yeah, he's obviously from Winnipeg and carrying on that long line of great hitters out of Manitoba. But John Epping, also their early. team, no no stranger to the hit game, as we said, out yeah, of the really Side Curling go. Club. Skip is John Epping. Third, Matt Cam. Really gotta go. Second is Pat Jansen and lead Scott Chadwick. Gotta go. Hard, you gotta go. Matt just maybe a little light there, wrecking the guard. But they are like lying two here. They're one two. You like Without that? Without the hammer. Yeah, it's either that or the guard into the second shot. Whichever one I don't you like. That. That's what the, what the only two options. I just, I just kind of don't like Opera. that. push the guard instead of guarding that back one. Like, I feel like if we make this, he, he, he might hit, right? Yeah, half. So you could play some kind of a hit and roll. That seemed to be Carson's first thought. But JD likes this angle run on the guard. What I like about this is that, again, with the Whoa. hammer, you're opening Close. up that center line yes, area. Yes, and if you make this good, yes. then Whoa. your chances for a simple deuce or an easy uh, blank are pretty good. That's the worst case sorry, scenario. Sorry, JD. Carson seeming to indicate that JD threw it well and maybe had the broom in the wrong spot. But it is still Epping lying two without the hammer here in the first. Yeah, unfortunately for JD and Carson, that spun back in towards the center line. If it just dead jammed over there, it wouldn't have been so bad. But now for Team Epping, you can throw a, basically a center guard here for Matt Cam and put a little bit of pressure on Carson Sturme. Line's good. Line's good. Pat. Whoa, whoa, sorry. Nicely done by Matt, but probably a little bit tighter than they would have liked. This run back is fairly short, and you might actually get all of these. All the reds, I mean. Oh, yes! Hard. Yes! Hard! Yes! Hard! 
This is hard, curling. Hard, hard. Oh dear. Jeez. <laughs> two shots for JD that were really close to being great, and two shots that ended up really bad, <laughs> like as bad as they could. Yeah, absolutely. And and this one, Chelsea, worse because it leaves the yellow up in front of the house. So now a chance for John Epping to draw in there and really put some pressure on. Yeah, they're gonna need uh gonna need a pretty good bail here from Carson if John makes this. This is the side that Carson was saying earlier that no one had thrown when they were t debating about uh Cal Daring's shot. So a little bit of a guess maybe, but you have to think they'd be fairly close. We haven't seen the speed be too terribly different, really, yep. 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 on different sides and, and things. So, no, I've had a few teams say to me they do they have thought that this left Mine's side good. of the sheet, as we're looking at it, right for you on your screen, yep. is maybe a yep. little slower. But yeah. we haven't right really seen. I mean, it's hard to see that from behind the glass. Well, it's but if it is, it's m pretty minor. Yeah. Like I think Absolutely. it might be a tiny bit slower. Um, but it doesn't look like it's a major, major difference. Perfect shot there from Sorry, John good. Epping. Yeah. And yeah, just yeah. as you said, good. Chelsea, going to need to be a pretty good, good bail here from Carsten yeah, Sturmey. Yeah, it's there for sure. You can probably get all the yeah, reds like moving again, though, low, if he eh? hits this right. What? Three quarters low. Yeah. Sorry, where do you want the brush? You want it to curl, or where do you want it? Uh, yeah, hair more. That's good. JD saying three quarters low, so that probably means they're playing the out turn here across the yeah, face. I like that summation. If you plant it, good things happen. True of trees and <laughs> curling. We talked about grass growing earlier, and now it's planting trees. I'm a man of nature, You're all Chelsea. environmental. I am. Oh, the world's burning. We might as well at least <laughs> pretend we care about it. Yep. yep. So big hard, shot hard, here hard, for Karsten Sturmey. Yep, 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 yep. Yes. Hard. Curtis Kohler on it oh, right oh. away. Oh, oh that go, was so go, close go, go. to Very triple. Very close. Really close to the run triple, but that is a great shot really from Carson Sturmey. You needed to just open it up and make sure you have a shot for one here. So mission accomplished there. Almost got the bonus right here, of getting all those moving, and you could have sat two potentially, but nice result there. Yeah, very good result. This will at least give Karsten a shot on his last one to get one. So John Epping, as you heard there, looking to draw full eight in Chelsea. As those of you who have been watching the stream know, this, this weekend we've started the Curses for Kids program, <laughs> where if uh, curlers are caught swearing into the microphone, they owe us money. And John Epping is so confident that he is not going to swear in this game that he said he'll go double or nothing with me, meaning that if he swears, eight, he owes me, well, he owes the Sanders Schmirler Foundation $20. But if he doesn't swear, his third, Matt Cam, right owes 20. We'll cut that in half to 10. So big game here for John Epping, not no just to qualify there. for the playoffs, but <laughs> also a lot of money on the line. Yeah, but the real priority is the curses for kids back. Good, John. Absolutely. Good. That's what I'm always saying. <laughs> and a perfect throw there from John Epping just in the top of the forefoot. So Carson has some oh, options here. He could draw for his one or make this double. Because it's either that or just off, right? Whichever you're seeing. Yeah, like, I know, uh, like, Curtis threw this. You can throw it with either turn, really. It's probably yeah. easier with the out. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm with you. Because the nice thing is you, you could sort of get a little curl, right? But Yeah, I'm not sure you have to back. No, that. yeah, like obviously. You're just gonna, yeah. if, if you like the hit, we can we can throw the hit, whatever you're seeing. I think it's a hit. I know how it runs. What, uh, what kind of weight? Uh, I think you're just looking at like a, a normal waiter right there. Normal? Yeah. I don't think it'll do anything crazy, hey? Shouldn't, no. You're going like this way, yep. right? Normal weight. I think so. So Karsten Sturmey, not the start to the game he would have wanted with the hammer. And a difficult shot here, facing three, needs to make a double to score one. Clean! Yep! Yep! 
Oh, yep. Yes. yes. Hard. Curtis gotta Kohler go. Go. sweeping yeah. this yeah. a yeah. lot yeah. right out of the oh. hand. Clean. And Karsten Sturme has it. Tough start to the game, but a great finishing shot to put one on the board. We'll see John Epping with the hammer for the first time when we come back. You're watching the ATB Financial Okotoks Curling Classic. What does 1800 tequila taste like? It tastes like victory. 1800, the world's most awarded tequila. Johan Farr landed in Calgary in 2008 to complete his Bachelor of Engineering in Biotechnology. Johan's goal was to provide the Canadian consumer with authentic German beer made from recipes far away. In 2015. Bang. 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 DoorDash is the official on-demand delivery platform of the Toronto Blue Jays. Delicious is on deck. Get $0 delivery fees on your first order. DoorDash. Dash that. What do you see when you see you? Some new to you wheels, maybe? We want to help you build the credit to do it. You've got this. We've got you. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Dash that delicious with DoorDash and Boston Pizza. For a limited time, get $10 off your order of $40 or more. So you can dash that craving with some serious saving. Dash that weekend to weeknight with DoorDash. Hello, curling fans. Welcome back to Okotoks, the B final team Karsten Sturme against team John Epping. And we're about to take a look at one of the reasons why John Epping is here in this B final from yesterday's game. Draw two against Ryland Kleider down three in the eighth end. This was the shot of the day yesterday as selected by our crew. It was an extremely thin double needed to stick the shooter to get three and he made no mistake on it. They went to an extra end. They were able to pull off the steal against Ryland Kleider to win that game 7-6. And that's part of the reason why Epping is here now. Fantastic shot making from their team. And after beating Kleider, they lost their second game to Reed Carruthers 7-5. And then they beat Ryan Jakes 6-5 and Marco Hussey 9-6 to find themselves Early. in this B final against Karsten Sturme. And as for Sturme, they started out hot. Two wins, 7-2 to two over Jacques Gauthier and 8-6 over Matt Dunstone before losing the A final this morning to Colton Flash. So they dropped directly into this B final to face off against John Epping for the right to play in the playoffs, which start tomorrow night. Line's good. I see close. Running like it's hot. Yeah. Running like it's hot. Running like <laughs> it's hot. Eight. Running like it's hot. I had the exact same <laughs> reaction. <laughs> it's almost like we're the same age or something. <laughs> Maybe we just both, you just dated both of us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, what can we say? Well, it was running like it's hot. It was. It was hot. Wait, yeah, wait, it was here. indeed. I'm sure Scott Chadwick likes to be yeah, told he's hot, but yeah. not in that situation. <laughs> it's about the only time you don't want to be told you're hot. It's true, you don't like it then. I guess it's that and when you have a fever. Those are the two times you don't want someone to tell you you're hot. Otherwise, I'm all ears. <laughs> so an uncharacteristic miss for Scott Chadwick, and we saw John Epping have a pretty dominant first end without the hammer. We'll see if Karsten Sturme can it's perhaps okay. duplicate Good. the feet here in end number two. Line only. Easy. Wait's good. Line's Top good. Four. Top four. Line's great. Line's perfect. Hard. Go, go, go. 
Hard, keep going, hard. Ah, sorry, Kyle. That's a good shot. Yeah. 50. So we did see this a little bit last night. It's only the second end here, Chelsea, but we did see in the night draw last night the draws kind of grinding a little bit, and that seemed to be maybe a little bit of what happened there. J.D. Lind and Curtis Goler seemed to be a little surprised by how quickly that came to a stop. Yeah, we saw the whole sheet be just a tiny bit slower than uh, the earlier games, which is normal in a night draw. Pretty much any event that you play in, it's usually a little stickier and a little bit more curl. So not uh, uncommon to see that for sure, but it did take them a few ends to catch on to it. And I think that it probably got even a little bit more pronounced as the game went on too. So they'll uh, need to make that adjustment because it's probably not gonna get faster at this point. It might get a little slower as we play into uh, the depths of the game here. John Epping, not a big fan of that throw. Over curl by Pat Jensen, not a horrendous result, but not what they were hoping for. Looking to clean up that middle and left those yellow rocks in there. Wait, kid. Line's good. Half. Line's good. Line. Half, half tight. Finish. That was half. Whoa, clean. Yep. Yep. Good shot. So the guard just not quite getting there. So opportunity here for Pat Jansen to go after the shot stone. Whoa. Just hack. Just hack. Whoa. Just hack, John. Scott. Whoa, straight! Whoa! Gonna have, yeah. to, go, gonna have whoa, to go in the yellow, John. Oh, okay, okay. You gotta go in the yellow. So just a little less weight than they were expecting. He went, he went through that hole? He played like a hack waiter? Oh, nice. Well, I just, if he made it once, I just worry he makes it again. I don't know, it's close. I will say too, Firm, medium. Team Sturmade doesn't have their team jackets yet. Nine, five, and I do eight, appreciate five. Karsten's Firm. choice of a quarter zip here. <laughs> Looks good, the quarter zip with the high collar is very, very fashionable, very L.L. Bean fall. Kurt, Kurt! This Hard needs Kurt. to curl. Hard, Kurt! And it will not. It was a spot we saw run very straight mm -hmm. um, yeah, earlier today and even yesterday, and it seems to be one that's tough for the teams. They, they don't mind the throws out of the hands often, and then they just don't finish at all. If anything, it might even fall off a little bit as it comes down the sheet. Just so keep an eye low. on that, uh, that intern coming home. Just back 12. Close. Whoa, 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 whoa. So Matt Scott. Cam looking to come to this back Yellowstone here. Scott Chadwick really trying to knife this over. Did I get that right? You did. Yeah, okay. And he does a great job bringing that over, and it is Team John Epping lying two with the hammer. So I'm guessing the knife technique is where the broom head is straight, sort yeah. of like, yeah, okay. Uh, more straight than, more straight yeah, than versus angled, across yeah. it like you used like to. Carving, or even, yeah. even when you were plowing, the, the broom would be perpendicular to the rock, and yeah. now it's more on kind of a 45 degree angle. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. I see, I see, I see why you call Kurt. it a knife. Yeah, I <laughs> didn't come up with it, but it's what, uh, what I Kurt. keep hearing it called now, so I think that's Whoa. what we're going with. Kurt! Whoa! Shot there from JD Lind. Doesn't get completely buried though. Yeah, almost. Almost. 
Ah, he was up the yeah. jam potentially though, so you're going to have to be a little bit careful for John Epping and Matt Cam here to not bring that back Red Rock into play. Again, that spot running a little bit straight for JD. Easy. So just oh. hack here from Matt Cam. Scott Chadwick once again being Whoa. asked to bring this over. And that's another nice yeah. shot from Matt Cam. <laughs> I mean, you don't need the double, John. I, mean, I think you're okay. I think you're okay. Similar to mine. Yeah. Great shot from Matt Cam, and it's Epping line two with the hammer here in end number two. Kristen looking for the roll back. Like ten five. Yeah, time starting to run out here for Carson to prevent uh, a crooked number from going on the board. <laughs> As of today, the deuce counts. The deuce counts. I guess it always counted. I don't think it's necessarily <laughs> as of today, but, well, but in, in my life, in my yeah. world, <laughs> yeah, my whole worldview has changed. But other than that, <laughs> I'm good. Shattered your whole. Uh, I had a good cry existence. in between yeah. games. <laughs> I'll bounce back. So first shot here for Carson Sturmey in the second. It needs a hit and roll. Close. Would love to get as buried as no, possible no, no. behind Kurt, that guard. Kurt, it's Kurt. pretty high. Hard, Kurt! Gotta go, Hard, gotta go, Kurt. gotta go, gotta go! So again, that same intern coming home, running a little straight, they said close. Yeah, sorry, and uh, it wasn't really as it turns out they thought. They keep thinking it's gonna curl a little bit more there than it is. It's hard to believe how straight that is and how little ice you need. Yeah, it's almost one of those two where the making the hit and roll is so tricky yeah. because uh, like you, if you do flirt with getting on the inside of the stone and it ever snaps, then you're flashing. So yeah. it's it's one of those that's just so, so tough to trust. And John Epping with uh, the, the one in the back eight being the shot stone will be ignoring the yellow one that Karsten just threw and drawing around the center himself. And we saw him throw pistol draw last end so Top he's clearly floor. dialed in line's good line's good looks heavy Whoa. where no it needs to stop right? and maybe just a hair deeper than he would have liked it chelsea yeah, it's uh, it just leaves the opportunity for Karsten Sturmey to come down. And you, you play this as a freeze because you don't ever want to bounce off it um, Doesn't do anything crazy. Yeah. too hard into the open. But if you could ever move it just about uh, maybe half a rock uh, and stay buried, then you could be shot rock. And all of a sudden, that's going to be hard for John Epping to score. So big opportunity here, but huge shot. Yeah. This could go from a three to a steal of one, depending on how this is made. Yeah, his was a 14-5 without much sweep in, so. So last rock here for Karsten Sturme. Got held to one in the first end and is trying to do the I'm same to John Epping. Room. That's good. Wait only. Needs this one to be good. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa line, whoa line, whoa line. This is really no, hanging. Oh no, no. Whoa line, no tap. Running like no. it's hot. It is running like it's hot yep, indeed. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay. And unfortunately for Karsten, he will do exactly what you warned against there, Chelsea, clicking off. Yeah, and sorry, boys, too heavy. Now a chance for a, a triple for John Epping. Yeah. 
Final stone here for John Epping in the second end. An open hit for three. Whoa, clean, 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 clean. Good clean, good clean. And that's as cool as you like from John Epping. He'll Great. put three up on the board and take a two point lead into the third end. Team Sturme will have the hammer when we come back. You're watching Curling Live. What do you see when you see you? Your own place? With your own groceries? We want to help you build the credit to do it. You've got this. We've got you. Capital One, what's in your wallet? DoorDash. Dash that delicious and nutritious. Dash that savory and sweet. Get $0 delivery fees on your first order. DoorDash. Dash that. Gentlemen, we need to talk about your health. If you or someone you know has been diagnosed with prostate cancer, then you know it's difficult, both physically and emotionally. But remember, you are not alone. It's crucial to ask the right questions and to play an active role when discussing your options with your doctor. Gentlemen, it's time you take control of your health and ask about treatment options that are suitable for you. Go to crucialrehearsal.ca to answer a few short questions and download a personalized script to guide your next conversation with your doctor. Check it out. What does 1800 tequila taste like? It tastes like victory. 1800, the world's most awarded tequila. DoorDash is the official on-demand delivery platform of the Toronto Blue Jays. Delicious is on deck. Get $0 delivery fees on your first order. DoorDash. Dash that. What do you see when you see you? Your own place? With your own groceries. We want to help you build the credit to do it. You've got this. We've got you. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Hello, folks. Welcome back. Continuing coverage here on Curling Live. Keep going hard. The B final. Karsten Sturme against hard. John Epping here from Okotoks. Cullen and Carey with you on the call. And Chelsea, that's uh, two solid ends for John Epping, managing to force Karsten Sturme and, and force him really in a, in a difficult way in the first and then uh, really had Sturme on the chase for basically that entire second end and it ends in a three. Yeah, and it was one of those uh, ends that looked simple for the deuce, but a few precise shots that had to be made. Matt Cam with a hack to sort of bumper weight hit and roll that he had to be careful about jamming and those kinds of things, and they made them all perfectly. And then, uh, unfortunately for Karsten Sturme, well, just a little bit heavy on his freeze attempt. Wouldn't have minded tapping it a little bit, but had to throw it to the sweeper so you could manage the line. Didn't quite get there, bounced off, and leaves John Epping the open hit for three. He makes this no mistake, coffee. and whoa, here whoa, we are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just leave it, just leave it. Go. Good. So a nice pair there from Scott Chadwick. Okay, let's go top 12. Getting the third end started. You saw the world rankings there scrolling at the bottom of the screen. These two teams very evenly matched. John Epping currently ranked number 16 in the world. Karsten Sturme number 21. So certainly about as close of a matchup as you'll find in any one of these events. Finish, curl. Got to curl. Got to curl. Hard, Kyle. Hard, keep go, go, go. going, Kyle. Hard, go, 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 go. hard, hard, hard. Go, go, go. Good sweep, Great sweep. Yeah, great sweep. Ah. Pretty straight there, Patty. So. Nail the weight, and we should be good. Speed's good, Pat. So, Pat Jansen being asked to make a little come around hit on this yellow stone that was just thrown. Pat Jansen is Hack. one of my honorary compatriots now that Whoa. his uh, partner's Hack. curling out of British Columbia with Hack. Kayla McMillan and her team from last season. Just They've had Hack. a really good start Hack. to the year as well. Whoa. They're on a heater for sure. Have to go in the yellow, John. Okay. Just trying to get to know. So I have, I have no choice but to respect Pat. Really good. <laughs> I mean, I would have anyway, but that just really sealed the deal for Any me. Any sort of tie to Vancouver and has your, your oh. loyalty. Oh, absolutely. BC <laughs> curling, Chelsea, I don't know if I you know so. this. 
But yeah. uh, we don't get any respect. Burn. We're like Rodney Dangerfield. No one cares. Mm. But you know what? We're, we're, we earn it back one step at a time. And it's great to see uh, Clancy and, and the girls off to a great start this season. And the Islanders sure. over here in a B final beside us. Rob uh, Nobert yeah, in the, we're going to the, middle. In the C quarters. Every, we're, it's all good. You know, things are good. <laughs> good news for BC. Curling good news for BC. You know, Jim Cotter's slowly coming out of the game a little bit. So it's nice to see these, uh, these younger BC teams getting, getting going. Marianne Arsenault retiring and so it's yeah it's good so Kyle Deering looking for Burn. a double here JD JD and wrong side of that one for ah. Kyle Deering and it's Epping lying two without the hammer here This is a, a move you love to be doing when you're up two. Yeah, absolutely. You, uh, with that five rock rule, you feel like you're waiting forever to get to go peel that corner guard. So always uh, nice when you get to that point in the end, especially when you're also sitting two in the house. Yep. Megan in the chat's asking me about how I feel about my teenage son, Tyler Tardy, playing for Kevin Cooey, an Alberta team. <laughs> and what I say is, you know what? He's spreading the BC gospel. There you I go. Got no, I got no problem with that. Yeah, He's just repping from I Alberta like now. That's it. That's okay. Like the jackets are still blue. I don't Close know enough. how well that plays. <laughs> We're right this next door. Do that, you might just yeah. tap it. Only a little different. Close enough. Yeah. If anything, it's this. Although I think BC's mostly wearing white these days. Okay, that's um, like board weight. Yeah. There was a few years there where everyone wore mostly white. It was hard to tell BC oh, Alberta apart. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> that's true. That's true, yeah. Whoa, yeah Alberta snow. being back in the blue and yellow feels, JD. feels right. JD! I actually Hard, JD. loved a couple of years ago when the Alberta wild cards were yellow, like main yellow mm -hmm. with the blue. I believe Kevin Cooey wore those. Kevin Cooey did Good wear shot. those, yeah. Oof, those were outstanding. I loved that. Board. Yeah, they did the mirror they did the mirrored in the bubble too with uh with the wild cards, Manitoba. Yes. Champion was Jen. She had main yellow and we were wild card. I was with Tracy Flurry because she didn't come into the bubble and we had the brown with the yellow. I loved the brown. I people did were too. people were talking Whoa. people were talking yep. smack on the brown. I thought the Whoa. brown was awesome. Yeah, I agree. Yep. I loved it. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Good. So nice shot there, and Chris Epping will guys. continue to lie two here without the hammer in the third. For a little hit and roll here from JD. You're probably not getting a deuce out of this. You might if you get a miss, but you get in there, then you leave these. You're just trying to group the, the Red Rocks together so that you can make a double yourself if you're Karsten Sturme and get out of this with a blank. Deuce didn't develop early. And just can't quite get that roll. So trying to get a roll here, get whoa, some separation whoa, whoa. is Matt Cam. And it won't quite roll as far as they would have liked. So I think there's a chance now for Karsten Sturme Straight to up. perhaps reset, get a blank here. And you heard Karsten say thin half. I think he could even get away with a third here. Hard! 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 And that will 
just come over the top. So J.D. Lind, uh, some early struggles here in this game, just not quite hitting those rocks in the spots he wants to. And now a, a real opportunity here for John Epping to get a, a house split force. John, looking to go back eight here. In a perfect world, when you split the house, you'd love for them to be dead even. But because that center line red is so high in the house, it's hard to go even. There's not a lot of rings over on the other side there. So if you take this back deeper, then you make the angle for the double really tough for Carson Sturme. So looking for back, back eight. eight. Just get the back speed eight. right. Just get the speed right. So first stone here for John Epping, just looking Water for the eight. back get, get, eight. Let's get the speed right. Pat in. Easy, right here, easy, Pat. easy. Right here. Make it curl if you can. Curl if you can. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's good. good. That's good. That's good. Sorry. Sorry, Pat. So nice shot there from John Epping, Pressure. but I do think yep. Karsten will have a chance to make the double here. Yeah, yeah just like two Yeah, thirds? just under curl yeah, a little bit for him. I think that's like the that. depth they yeah. were looking yeah. for, but we're hoping for a foot yeah, or two more curl there. I heard John say sorry, guys. I'm thinking he just was a little wide or maybe set that a little bit too much. Well, two thirds, fellas. So Karsten Sturme once again being asked to bail out here with Hammer. Needs to make a double. Yep. Hard. 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 hard, hard. And he will. Great shot from Karsten Sturme. So Thanks, more than likely looking at a blank here. When you're the skip in this situation, Chelsea, where where's the ideal spot for this rock? I mean, knowing that it's somewhere around 90%, 95% that your opponent's going to make the blank, where's the best spot to put this? Well, you, in yeah, theory, you want a little bit more rings uh, versus less for him to have to roll out through. But he also, if you know a spot is a little tricky, maybe it's a little straight and the guy tends to set his out turn or something like that, you're grasping at straws a little bit, but you can go anywhere you want. So if you think one side is a little tougher than the other, a little straighter, a little trickier somehow, then usually you just go there. Barring anything else, you probably just put it in the center and hope that, uh, that he doesn't roll the six feet he needs to roll. But... John going to the same side he went to previously. They've backed all the way off this. Yeah, John thought it might have been a little hot out of his hand. He's okay. It'll hang around, but... The deeper you are in the house, the less yeah, I think so. the less uh, distance Carson Sturmey needs to roll. So By blank standards, not the toughest one you could have, but still needs to be made. They haven't really thrown a lot of weight on this side. So final stone here for Karsten Sturme in the third, looking for the yep. blank. Clean. Clean. And he makes it, so we'll put a zero up on the board. Yep. Epping will keep the two-point lead. Sturme will keep the hammer. You're watching the ATB Financial Okotoks Curling Classic. We'll be right back. What does 1800 tequila taste like? It tastes like victory. 1800, the world's most awarded tequila.
DoorDash is the official on-demand delivery platform of the Toronto Blue Jays. Delicious is on deck. Get $0 delivery fees on your first order. DoorDash. Dash that. What do you see when you see you? Some new to you wheels, maybe? We want to help you build the credit to do it. You've got this. We've got you. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Dash that delicious with DoorDash and Boston Pizza. For a limited time, get $10 off your order of $40 or more. So you can dash that craving with some serious saving. Dash that weekend to weeknight with DoorDash. Hello, folks, and welcome back nice. to the Okotoks Curling Club. B nice final shot. action, 16-3. John Epping against Karsten Sturmey. And it has been the John Epping show so far. And I think yesterday, Chelsea, we saw a version of John Epping that he would probably agree wasn't maybe his best and needed to get three in the eighth just to tie and then needed a, a miss from Ryland Kleider in the extra to get the steal. Uh, but today, tonight, his team has looked fantastic. Yeah, so far they haven't missed a whole lot, so definitely more like the kind of game they would have hoped to have from the start. They, they finished, obviously, very strong <laughs> to win that game, but definitely were, uh, were not the better team for the majority of it early on, Team Clyder outplaying them. So this is more the team epping we would expect to see. They've played quite well so far, so a little bit of an uphill climb right now for Karsten Sturmey, but it's only a couple points, so just get a two here, and it's game on. Well, kind of, but that's all right. Let's, let's, let's make yeah, it. Yeah, John was telling me yesterday when I was talking to him before their game yes. that they were feeling like their game was starting to round into yeah, form. We As we said yesterday, this is their fourth event of the season. One of the busier, if not the busiest, of the men's teams on tour so far. And the first two events, they missed the playoffs. And especially in that Leduc wait, event, wait not as strong of a field as they're Lionel. used to playing in. They probably would have felt a little disappointed to miss the playoffs there, but... They made the semifinals I'm last good. weekend, and John Boom. told me he felt like it was really starting to come together, and it does seem like we're, we're seeing that here tonight. And Obviously, these players are all pretty familiar with each other. Scott Chadwick, the only Keep player who hasn't hard, played hard, multiple hard, seasons hard. with John before, but always an adjustment with a new squad. Matt Cam moving back to third. All of those things are, are factors in, in building chemistry. For sure, and when you even if you've played with somebody before and then you've gone, you've both gone with different teams and different players, your systems are all different and your communication is different when you move to having a different player. So even coming back together, the familiarity is helpful, but you might be a different player. You probably are when you've spent that much time with n new different it's teammates. True. So there's still a relearning. Um, yeah. it's, it's probably not as steep a learning curve as a brand new teammate, but it is still there for sure, especially when you've been apart for quite a few years, which in the case of Pat Jansen and John, they have been. And this just over curling, maybe a little light from Pat, but rolls into a decent spot for them. I think that's pretty good weight in the sense that if you hit the guard, you don't kill it. That's yeah. the danger with that shot. We talked about it a little bit earlier on. You can't afford to kill that corner guard. So throw it, if you're gonna play a chase, throw it really quiet. And then if you just chisel it off, so now that yellow is wide open, the corner guard, guard is essentially like gone. And you've stacked these rocks in the middle. I actually think that's a, probably a better result than, than getting around that guard and tapping the yellow rock in the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We got much closer games tonight than we did uh, on, the, on the earlier draws Early. today. So some battles going on out here. Yeah, absolutely. Mine's good. Easy. Line's good. Just looking to replace the guard here Clean. for Team Sturme. You're going to eventually have to deal with that mess Clean. of red rocks in the middle, but for now, just protect your what's hopefully going to be your hey. second point. Good shot. I think so, buddy. You can roll to center, too. Make it good.
straight here. Touch it. Touch it. Shot. Very nice shot there from Pat Jansen and John Epping lying three without hammer. Yeah. So Carson now going to make a Can move wait. on those middle rocks. Normal. Your main objective Nose here. isn't bad. Yeah, your main objective here is to stick your shooter. You can't afford to Normal. lose the shooter. So in a perfect world, you roll buried behind that corner guard and kill at least one red in the middle and uh, sort of rearrange that yep. uh, situation Nose, and roll yep. buried. But even if you nose it, it's fine. You just have to make sure your shooter stays somewhere. So that's why they're bringing the weight down a little bit, not throwing a bomb at this, just a nice normal. Up. No, 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 no. JD, hard. Hard, JD. Seven six. Yeah, he's Polish. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was maybe a little heavy from Kyle Deering there. We're just throwing normal. Seemed like Kyle maybe didn't know that they were throwing normal there because Karsten just said to him, "Oh, we were throwing normal," and Kyle kind of had. I couldn't hear what he said, but what is it? looked like he had a little. Oh, okay. Yeah, it would. I think it would be a little bit tough to throw a seven six when you were trying to throw a nine five. So. Probably just a miscommunication, and uh, which like you could throw that with weight. It, it's uh, it's just the issue is the the broom is for normal, and then when you throw peel, it's not going to curl enough. When like I say, your main objective there was to keep your shooter around. So Matt Cam peels his own off and could be heading for another blank here, which will suit John Epping just fine. for the roll there but didn't find it. Sure. Nice and gradual here. So we're looking for the roll there for John Epping. It was an opportunity to get the open force. Hitting it on the nose leaves. It's not an easy double, but it's definitely there. for the double and JD Lind will get it and it will I don't think hang on not that that really matters all that much and John's gonna hit it regardless so just another end really here Chelsea for Carson Sturme where they can't quite get anything going without the hammer yeah they had some or with the hammer with the hammer yeah they had some chances there and and just a couple little miscues um, if, if Kyle Daring sticks his shooter somewhere there then uh, maybe there was a corner guard and you stick somewhere in the house and then make uh, John Epping's team make a play but unfortunately that miss kind of ended their chances it did, from where I'm sitting it does look like that rock might be in but regardless they're throwing a hit on it so Eight. looking like a blank here yep whoa whoa That one's definitely in. So, gonna see Karsten just take his medicine here and play out the blank and try to set up the two again in the next end. Control, fellas. It's not gonna do anything crazy. 
10 5. Good indication of how straight this is. I can't tell because I'm not sitting directly behind it exactly where JD's broom is, but he's still in control lead and it's inside the edge of the rock. So really straight on this side of the sheet with any kind of weight. It seems clean. to be okay for the draws, yep. but it doesn't curl All the clean. pits much. Clean. Yeah, we saw it on this side of the sheet clean. last night too in that, in that night game with Colton Flash and Tanner Horgan. It's this, this side of the sheet was quite straight, especially on hits. Good. Thank you. So a good shot there from Carson Sturme and John Epping will look to stick around somewhere as well. John Epping will just stick around. He was hoping to roll into the middle to maybe give Carson a little more rings to roll out of, but again, another relatively simple blank here for Sturme. So final stone here for oh. Karsten Sturme in the fourth oh. end, looking for Queen. a blank. Nine. And that flirted with the boards. <laughs> you could see Matt Cam sort of change his viewing angle to see that uh, it hit the rock before it hit the boards. But a nice throw from Karsten Sturme, so we'll put another zero on the board, and we'll come back with the second half of the game here from Okotoks. You're watching Curling Live. What do you see when you see you? Your own place? With your own groceries? We want to help you build the credit to do it. You've got this. We've got you. Capital One, what's in your wallet? DoorDash. Dash that delicious and nutritious. Dash that savory and sweet. Get $0 delivery fees on your first order. DoorDash. Dash that. Gentlemen, we need to talk about your health. If you or someone you know has been diagnosed with prostate cancer, then you know it's difficult, both physically and emotionally. But remember, you are not alone. It's crucial to ask the right questions and to play an active role when discussing your options with your doctor. Gentlemen, it's time you take control of your health and ask about treatment options that are suitable for you. Go to crucialrehearsal.ca to answer a few short questions and download a personalized script to guide your next conversation with your doctor. Check it out. What does 1800 tequila taste like? It tastes like victory. 1800, the world's most awarded tequila. DoorDash is the official on-demand delivery platform of the Toronto Blue Jays. Delicious is on deck. Get $0 delivery fees on your first order. DoorDash, dash that. What do you see when you see you? Your own place? With your own groceries. We want to help you build the credit to do it. You've got this. We've got you. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Hello, curling fans, and welcome back. The second half of the final game of day two here in Okotoks, Alberta for the ATB Financial Okotoks Curling Classic. John Cullen and Chelsea Carey with you for this B final between Karsten Sturme and John Epping. And 
And uh, a little mistake here to start the fifth end as Curtis Goler puts his guard into the house and it looks like we uh, may have another end where John Epping is in control most of the way here, Chels. Yeah, unfortunately for Team Sturme, that's just kind of the way it's gone. That's a pretty significant mistake. The good news is it's the five rock rule, so this guard can't be peeled either, but uh, not, not, a good, not the start you want for sure when you're trying to manufacture two. Line's good. Is it? Yeah, like it looks light, but. Looks light. <laughs> hard, you gotta go. Hard, hard, hard. Hard, keep going. Now we'll take a look at the other action out here on that, yeah, this so. draw really eight like over on sheet one in the C draw. Them. Aaron Slichinski is tied 2-2 with Marco Husley. Right beside them is the other one of the other B finals that's out here tonight. It is Reed Carruthers up 2-1 on Matt Dunstone. Carruthers also has the hammer with that 2-1 lead. Beside them, Rob Nobert from BC, a 3-1 leader Line's over Tanner good. Horgan. It's an all-Swiss battle easy. on sheet four. Easy. It is Eve Stalker currently leading Michael Brunner 3-2. And then the one score you're missing there is over on yeah, sheet F, the other B final. The Islanders playing Ryland Kleider. Islanders were off to a great start with two steals in the first two ends. But then Ryland Kleider hit them with a four. And so uh, it is Ryland Kleider currently leading the Islanders 4-2. to two. All those games are in the fourth end. We're speeding through this one, Chelsea. It's been a great <laughs> day for us. We've had two, like that two early nothing, ended like that games, nothing, so we got a little bit more of a break in between games, right? and this you, game you is just motoring. You got to come around the corner and, like, throw a tight guard. Well, they're Unless wasting no time. Do. Well, John's uh, always played fast, and I feel like yeah, when we're playing, I, I, uh, you know, this, a bit more of a simple game, right it's... A little more open game, it, it can tend to go a little faster. But yeah, we are quite literally a I full honestly, this, end this ahead of the Islanders right and Kleider. Like, I don't think we can hit this. Like this is our only guard right now. Yeah, no, that's fair. Because like if we move it, like that's nothing. Yeah, no, I'm with you. So I think we either either have to play this now or whatever you want, or you can just try and make a better corner and then hope yeah. he rips that. Because like that corner is like to roll behind it is no, no, it's useless. Nothing, yeah. Right? I'm with you. Because I don't I, mind that then. Yeah, because like. I do think we could kind of use that. And yeah, I'm with you. Like maybe eventually we can get one sort up here, right? Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. Back eight, back 12. Yeah, we we got to start throwing some draws. Like we're, we're hitting every Back end, eight, right? back 12. Yeah, yeah, just tap, like just back four. Back four. Back four? Yeah, back eight, probably. Yeah, back four, back eight. Yeah, like, if you have the weight, it should be fine. Like, we, we definitely don't want to be wide. We'll, we'll sweep it. Yeah. So some conversation there between Karsten and JD, just deciding if they oh, wanted okay. to Hard. maybe remove the redstone at the top of the house oh. or yes. Come around the corner guard. Hey! They thought the corner guard is maybe too high, so they're electing to bring hey! Kyle Deering's rock into the house. Kurt, 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 Kurt. Trying to freeze on Kurt! top of these two reds here with a little tap. And unfortunately, that won't quite get to the face, but does get those reds in the forefoot yeah, separated. Fine. Yeah, unfortunately, like leaves board? an opportunity for a little hit and roll here. And Whatever way you like. We're going to see Carson Sturme in trouble board? again. So big opportunity here for Pat Jansen. Yeah. A little hit and flop in and they'd be lying four Whoa. without hammer. Scott! 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 Scott Chadwick trying to bring this over and they do get that little piece of a roll. Very nice shot from Pat Jansen and Karsten Sturme once again is into damage control oh. mode. Eight five. Eight, eight, five. 
8-5. Making sure they understood the weight call that time <laughs> was Karsten Sturme. 8-5, so hard. most teams would call that hard. firm. Hard. 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 One level up hard. from normal, but not quite hard. peel. Gotta go. You got hard. It. And okay. unfortunately for Kyle Deering, only gets the top stone. And we've we've said it once before, Chelsea, but just just that kind of night, they just can't seem to find their their mojo here yet as Team Sturman. We've had that a few draws in a row now. It's uh, becoming a theme. The first two games were battles; they were really tight, and then uh, these last last ones we've had. It's just you feel for the for the team that just can't seem to get anything going. And then even when they do, the, the team that's leading makes some incredible shots. We've seen a few examples of that where we thought, okay, like maybe something's happening here for this poor team that's been struggling. And then, nope, just kidding. There's a bullet in the heart from, uh, from the <laughs> leaders. Whoa, that's good. That's a sweep, Scotty. That's a sweep. And no mistake there from Matt Cam. So it continues to be John Epping. Hammerless and lying oh, four. Two guards now. Nice sweep, Give me like back line. Okay. And you want to get this guy a hair high and punch the one to like here? Okay. Back line. Hair high, like hair high in the intro. Okay, so how is yours here? The speed, speed is fine. Like same as like I have a color draw. Like say, like same as last game. Yeah, so back, so like back eight. So JD just looking to jiggle these reds around here with a little back line shot. Whoa. Line's fine, line's Close. fine. Close. Close. Yep. Whoa. 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 Yes. Whoa. Whoa. Great shot. Nice shot there oh, from nice. JD, exactly as called by his skipper. Peel on the nose. I'm a little surprised about the hair high part, and it sounded like JD might have been too. I'm not sure why you wouldn't want to try to get that closer to the nose. Yeah, this should just be a blast yeah, here. Maybe even a hair Matt low, Cam. like and JD said hair high on the intern and he sounded a little perturbed and I was yeah. agreeing with him. I was thinking that when he said hair high that he was on, gonna throw the outturn at it. So Matt Cam will make that yellow go away. And Epping continues to <laughs> sit a crooked number here in the house and Karsten Sturme has yet to really get something going in every end he's had hammer I feel like we have to call three an extra crooked number or something now <laughs> <laughs> we need a new term yeah I don't know yeah we need like a song like two is the crookedest <laughs> number three what is nice for me. You missed your calling Dead as a roll, I think. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bump. Okay. So a decent opportunity here for JD Lind if he can make this hit and roll behind this sort of in-house guard. Whoa. Yep. Hard. Might be a jam Hard. possibility. Whoa. 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 Close. Yes. yes. Yep. Whoa, whoa! Yes! Whoa! Hard! Hard! And that will just over curl on them. Yeah. Just light, just light, eh? Normal. Norm? Good shot. Even if you roll a rock, it's fine. Yeah. No, we gotta roll this thing because he's gonna be able to freeze that back one, right? Try and roll it right in behind ours. So John looking for the hit and roll. Your main objective here if you're John Epping given the scoreboard is obviously just to kill that yellow, but 
he has a good point. If he hits that on the nose, then they're going to will to freeze yep. on that back rock that's buried. So if he can roll in there, it would take away that freeze Where's path. Got to go, buddy. Keep going. Would love for this to stay in the house. This is really curling. And it will roll out. So Carson Sturme has an opportunity. I thought maybe maybe he would throw the double sure, and blank again, but it looks like he might be trying to generate some offense here, Chels. Yeah. yeah, I don't mind yeah, it. The, uh, the double's not that easy. It's fairly I long. Need to get too close to that top one. This is a chance to set up yeah, your two. That's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, I was thinking sort of around edge four, yeah. yeah. Even if you freeze and, and John makes he's, a pretty good freeze good. on top of you, depending on the angles, you might be able to run that guard then instead of playing the double now on your last one for a pair. Okay, let's make a good freeze, fellas. And if you get any kind of error from John, if he bounces off or anything like that, then your yeah, deuce you is give up back four depth. there for you. What are we thinking for speed, boys? So draw to the pin. So here we go, Carson Sturme. Trying to make a lemon sandwich here. Put Line's this yellow good. in between the two reds Line's on the good. T line. Line's good, yep. Line's good. Win only, yep. Yep. Yeah, line. Yeah, line. Deering and goal yeah, are all line. over go, this. Guys. Hard. You gotta go. Hard, you got a good one. Hard, 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 hard. Hard. All the way, all the way, all the way. Don't stop, don't stop. And a great sweep from Curtis Goaler. And a nice shot from Karsten Sturme. They are lying one. And John Epping is going to run it. Yeah, they knew the line was perfect on that one. They were sweeping for weight. They would have liked this frozen so that this run back wouldn't be so easy for John. Just a little bit of separation makes his life a little bit simpler as far as playing this run back and killing that yellow. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. 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 Yep. Yep. <laughs> Perfect shot wow. from John Epping. <laughs> Not only gets rid of that yellow, but dead berries that red. It's vintage John Epping with his intern peels. You uh, you don't really want to leave him those bad boys. Yeah, like I remember watching him win. I think it was a Canadian yeah, Open yep. uh, slam that he won yeah. years ago, yeah, and he like made it. more oh, angle like raise intern yes. runbacks <laughs> than it, like I ever oh, thought like possible by one human in one like spiel. It was unbelievable. Yeah, that was his first win, I think. I think it was his first Two, slam 2008, win, 2008, yeah. I want to say. It was, like, a long time ago. I would say later than that. I make that more often? But 2008 yeah. National, 2015 Canadian Open. There you go. Yeah, that sounds of. right. Okay. So we were both right. <laughs> yeah. I knew that his first slam was in 08. You yeah. knew about the 2015 Canadian Open. I was there watching it. I was there playing in it, but we didn't do very well. So then I was watching <laughs> after that. <laughs> Actually, I think we lost the quarterfinal. It wasn't a disaster. Oh, so you're, yeah, that's fine. That was the first year I lived in Edmonton. First year I lived in Alberta. Aw. Yeah, that's John Epping has a very funny Grand Slam career. He's only won four slams, but they're all four of the majors. So he has a career Grand Slam, only winning four of them. That's incredible. I didn't know that, actually. Yeah. That's hard to do. A that career is. Grand Slam is hard to do, and there's lots of guys who have won a million of, oh. of them, but yep. not yep. all four hard, of them. Hard, 100%. Hard, hard, so hard. here we go. Final stone. Hard, Karsten hard, Sturme hard, needs hard, a double. Hard, hard, hard. And he will get it and roll in for his single. So a great shot from John Epping. Carson Sturme was looking for the blank, didn't quite get it. So he'll settle for the single. Epping will have the one-point lead and the hammer when we come back. You're watching live curling from Okotoks.
does 1800 tequila taste like? It tastes like victory. 1800, the world's most awarded tequila. What does 1800 tequila taste like? It tastes like victory. 1800, the world's most awarded tequila. DoorDash, dash that delicious and nutritious. Dash that savory and sweet. Get zero dollar delivery fees on your first order. DoorDash, dash that. Hello, folks. Welcome back. Continuing coverage of the ATB Financial. Okotoks, Curlin Classic, full Cullen four, and Carey on the call for this B final between Team Karsten Sturme and Team John Epping. And Chelsea, we saw Karsten maybe take a, a bit of a risk last end trying to get something together, generate a deuce, but was just unfortunately unable to do so. And now it's John Epping. You got to feel like in, in complete control here with the hammer in the sixth end and up a point. Yeah, definitely. I know I've mentioned it a few times, but Mine's good. when we talk about uh, control or no control situations in curling, great. one up with or two up without is Got defined as control. Hard. So um, John Epping will be very happy with that position. Hard. And now, and especially, hard. you know, you're, if you're Team Carson Sturman, hard. you're running Keep out of ends here. We're, we're already playing six. So needing to make nice a sweep, big fellas. move pretty quickly here yeah if you're Karsten you'd love to get a steal here get get yourself scoring in the sixth end force John in the seventh and get two in the eighth for the win so wouldn't be surprised to see them go decently hard for that and we see maybe the start of that with Curtis Goler putting up two center guards yeah I think you have to try for that because even if you get a force you always think of force plays but then if you don't get three and seven you're still statistically pretty much dead well you never you know can, well but you can. Toppy. the numbers would well tell you can. that if you're tied coming home well without the hammer you're not well winning that game um, i think five percent or so or less of the time in men's curling and, and the better your opponent the lower that number is and we all know how good john epping is so not a great position but if you can steal one if you can ever steal one the tide changes almost completely because then you're pretty happy if anyone gets one in seven Probably you're in like a no control eight. situation coming home and you never That's know enough. what can happen so definitely going pretty hard for a steal here for team Sturme. yeah, yeah john yeah. epping knows like something about coming back from know. being statistically yeah, dead yeah. did it yesterday <laughs> yes, with absolutely. with yeah, three yeah, in the back, eighth end and then a steal eight. in the ninth so yeah, certainly uh play. you know chelsea yeah. i think too we when we think of some of those stats a lot of those are including a lot of games played on arena ice. And so we know too, club ice can obviously Hi. the ice here in Okotoks is fantastic and as close to arena ice as you can Whoa. get in a club, Whoa. but there Whoa. is always that chance that yes. it's, you know, maybe a little bit, a little bit more of a chance. If you, if you feel like, Oh, normally in this situation, we'd be dead. You Three. maybe have a bit more Three. of a chance here in, in a curling club as opposed to on slam or Bring Scotty's or Briar ice. Oh, for sure. I did. That's, that's absolutely true, and and like I said before too, there's a there's a reason why they make you throw all the rocks. Just because you're statistically dead doesn't mean you're functionally dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's not over until the last rock is thrown, and uh, you know I think we've all been in situations where we handed a game over that we were, you know, in theory guaranteed to win, and then have won games that we should have for sure lost, and that's just curling, that's sport, that's how it goes. Oh, geez, great try, Patty. But you have to play the numbers if you're Carson Sturme and go hard for the steal here because numbers are numbers for a reason. Yeah, no question. As we see, Pat Jansen just Top missed that double peel. Guard, good enough. So it's uh, certainly a nice setup here so far if you're if your team Sturme. Just draw. Yep. That's a Carson like it. Yeah, like the only thing is like you just give him free runs at it, right? So we're coming around. I I don't mind this actually. Where are we going? T. Where do you want it? I think you want it. Top pin. Top pin. You like that? Top pin. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, cause that way that yellow is 
going right into it. Okay. I think this path is going to be a little slower. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. Slower. And if it's if it's running good and it's hanging, we can maybe chip off that side or something. But yeah, just yeah. Yeah. So this feels counterintuitive to what we just were talking about with going for a steal, and I think that's what Kyle Daring is sort of feeling and dealing with here. But Karsten and JD really like this. I don't. I don't disagree. The problem with a guard is is that yellow that's there. It's not. It's a relatively tight guard, but it's not that tight. And so any long guard that you put up, I don't know that you can make it perfect enough that there isn't I'm a good. double peel opportunity. Yep. So if you go in now, hard line. Get shot. Hard and line. Then John's probably going to peel something, and you can put Whoa. a guard back later. But making a play in the house now, even though it Whoa. doesn't feel like the heavy, right heavy, call, heavy. probably oh, is oh, just oh, given oh, the oh, position oh, oh. of that existing yellow guard. Oh, that's very heavy. Kyle Deering just a touch heavy on that draw, was looking for top pin there with Karsten. And so with John Epping sitting two here, he's more than happy to peel that center guard. Pat Jansen makes that no problem. So John Epping up one with the hammer and lying two here in the sixth. Halfway. People have been commenting in the chat, Chelsea, no curses so far. <laughs> John Epping looking pretty good for that double or nothing bet he made with me before the game. Yeah. Well, Halfway. when you're in full control the whole game, that's probably that helps. makes some sense. Yeah. That helps. We've seen two perfect games so far, one from Team Cooey and one from Team Dunstone. And in both cases, they were in control virtually from the first stone, just, so just it's always easy to not swear when you're uh, when you're Early. ahead. It's true; it really helps. I also don't really Line think five. of John as a big Line's good. swearing. That's in what the he game said. Guy. He said he doesn't finish. swear that no much finish. in the game. That's no, why he said he felt I, pretty confident about his no, bet. No, no, no. If I were to pick someone to make that bet on, he I might understand. be in that conversation. He's just just kind of not the way he's wired. Good shot, JD. Off the ice, though. My God, the guy <laughs> never stops swearing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> swear much at all. So Matt Cam will look to erase the guard put up by J.D. Lind. Honestly, if he go if he goes for it, it's not bad, probably. Yeah. Room early. Line's fine. Line's fine. Room early. Let it work. It's not curling. It's not curling. Let it work. Finish. Hard finish. Hard finish. Hard finish. Good shot. Attaboy. It's really nice. Yeah, that's good. You want to try and run that? Well, let's go talk about it then. I just don't want to make it for him. If I ever go stuff, double. I don't love looking at three on my last one. <clears throat> if we don't like the three, then the shot's probably the freeze he, to the back, he no? He could probably make that in stake, can he? This isn't going out. Is this any worse? I'm just a little concerned if I ever plant and make it for him. But I guess it's not. Yeah. I could also make it good and pick it through the hole. 
then I gotta make a double, and then I gotta make a hit and stay against two. I don't mind going for it. You can try to go on to the two, John, and put it through the hole. Is that what you're thinking? Like this way, you mean? Yeah, this That's way. It I mean, has yeah. to be this way. I mean, if you jam these, it's you're almost staying for a guard. What's that? Like, I, I think this, yeah, I don't think this is, I think you just run this rip, rip in here and okay. it'll come through. It's, uh, ten three quarters? Yeah. So I'm going to try to make the run back yellow onto yellow and punch that top eight foot yellow through those two reds. Definitely possible. That's you. Straight spot again. Yeah, straight peeling the guard. You might jam it here, or you can maybe get mm -hmm. sort of underneath a bit as an option. Mm -hmm. Back side on the nose, not bad. Uh, yeah, pretty. it's just like. Like that's that's good to force. Like I just don't. My only I don't thought see is steal like, there, right? are we are we getting a steal with this though? No, but but he has to make something on his first. Yeah. Because like if you're here, and he peels it out, and he knows that the steal is definitely in play, then right? So sorry, you about to say? Like like if you roll here, right? Yeah. Like what's he gonna do? He's he might peel this out, right? He probably cra he cracks the yellow across like that. Yeah, and then you have this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, I know it's not a great steal chance, but. Well, we're saying it's either this or. Or you crack the yellow on the nose. But. Yeah. Well, even if you don't make the double, even if you just kind of sandwich it into the side of it. Like, I, I kind of don't mind, like, playing it. If, if we play it, like, just to kind of yeah. stay over here, like, not to whip it. Like, we need to keep, we need to keep all three in the house. But. Well, that's what we're saying, yeah. yeah. And then you hope that this stays, and then you. Yeah. I see this with peel on the nose. I've been throwing those really well today. I think you need that much weight if you want a decent chance at actually. Yeah. And you just play like nose hit, the peel, you just bunt it over. Like, if, if you like it. Like, if, if you're seeing it. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, exactly. Like, put a right, brush on the nose? Yeah, right on the beak. So they were talking about maybe hitting and rolling off that red one in the forefoot. Uh, to the left, as you're looking at it on the screen now. But it appears they've decided that they want to maybe not make the double Chelsea, but just kind of nose this yellow and into that red and roll over towards that other red. Is that the, the call you prefer? Yeah, I think so. Um, the, the problem with hitting and rolling is your scoring area is pretty small and you're probably going to leave a smash for John to, to slice that yellow across the face of that red and send the red into your shooter. So I think this gives you more options. Yep, hard, yep. Yep, hard. Yep, 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 hard. So first stone yep, here hard. for Karsten yep, Sturme yep, in the fifth. And that will over curl on him. And that was not the desired result there, that's for sure. Sorry. I'm going to wait and see the red team just roll. I like that. I'm going to roll a rock or two. Yeah. Chance here for Epping now to just roll out into the wing <laughs> okay. and get what's uh, a pretty easy deuce. Try and roll a rock Matt's way. Try and roll a rock uh, your way. Stay here more, Matt. Control. 
Very nice touch there from John Epping, and it's really nothing much for Carson Sturmey to do here. Probably your best bet. Yeah, you can try that. It's That's your only option, really. Yeah. I mean, you, throw, you need to roll fairly flat. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would say so, yeah. Like firm? Okay. Right in the middle? Yeah. Over in our other B finals, a big three for Matt Dunstone in the fifth end. So he takes a four to three lead over Reed Carruthers. Brothers has the hammer there playing the yep. sixth. Yep, yep. And the yep. Islanders yep. had a hard, shot hard, for hard, two hard. in the fourth, hard, hard. but go. Paul Cech had just missed. Whoa, whoa. Yep, yep. Yep, 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 Sit down, sit down, sit down. Will that stick in time? It won't. Good try from Karsten Sturme. That's a great try. Really good try. That's a really hard roll. Rolled a rock too far, or else it would have been perfect. Got through his this way. Uh, sorry, yeah, Paul Cheka with a chance for two. Just missed uh, a delicate tap back, so he settled for one. So Kleider's leading that one four to three with the hammer. They're playing five. Over on sheet one, Slachinski with a commanding lead. They're up six to three with the hammer against Marco Hosley. Looks like Tanner Horgan got a two back in the fifth end, so he's one down without playing six. Yeah, that's Rob Nobert in the lead there. And finally in the battle of the Swiss teams, it's all tied up, 3-3. Three, three. Stalker with Fight the hammer. The They're playing five as well. Starting to so John now. Epping just needs to hit the eight foot here for his second point. And John makes that with little yeah. difficulty, and so it will be a three-point lead here for John Epping heading into the seventh. Karsten yeah. Sturme will have the hammer when we come back. You're watching Curling Live. What do you see when you see you? Your own place? With your own groceries? We want to help you build the credit to do it. You've got this. We've got you. Capital One, what's in your wallet? DoorDash. Dash that delicious and nutritious. Dash that savory and sweet. Get $0 delivery fees on your first order. DoorDash. Dash that. Gentlemen, we need to talk about your health. If you or someone you know has been diagnosed with prostate cancer, then you know it's difficult, both physically and emotionally. But remember, you are not alone. It's crucial to ask the right questions and to play an active role when discussing your options with your doctor. Gentlemen, it's time you take control of your health and ask about treatment options that are suitable for you. Go to crucialrehearsal.ca to answer a few short questions and download a personalized script to guide your next conversation with your doctor. Check it out. What does 1800 tequila taste like? It tastes like victory. 1800, the world's most awarded tequila. DoorDash is the official on-demand delivery platform of the Toronto Blue Jays. Delicious is on deck. Get $0 delivery fees on your first order. DoorDash. Dash that. What do you see when you see you? Your own place? With your own groceries? We want to help you build the credit to do it. You've got this. We've got you. Capital One, what's in your...
Welcome back, folks. And for the first time today on the curling live streams, we're seeing a seventh end. <laughs> it uh, feels like a bit of a miracle, but we we have made it, Chelsea and myself and the whole crew here. We're hanging on. And so is Karsten Sturmey. Just by a thread, though, John Epping leading this game 5-2. to two. And really, Chelsea, it just hasn't felt like Sturmey's really had control of any of these ends, really, through the first six. Yeah, no, there's been some opportunities, but I wouldn't say they've put together a complete end just yet. And John Epping's team has done that a number of times. So that essentially is the difference on your scoreboard right now. Line's good. Just got to get the depth right. Gotta go. 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 Hard, boys. Hard, 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 hard. Get it over. Hard. Hard push. What happened with that one? Just the dead spot there. Holy. Just barely get that one over the hog line. Throwing something there and it landed up really high. And sorry, my apologies. We have our first final. It was actually Marco Hosley who was leading Aaron Slachinski over on sheet one. I got my colors mixed up. And they have actually shook hands. So Marco Husley will move on to see another day tomorrow in the sea draw. Aaron Slachinski, unfortunately, that will be the end of their event. We'll be back with yep. you tomorrow. All the draws are starting an hour earlier tomorrow. So we'll be back with you at 1130 local time Bouncing. Saturday morning. Up. We'll have Bouncing some sea semifinal and We're final coverage yep. for you tomorrow. Yep. And then it'll be the playoffs back tomorrow more. night starting at 730 Alberta yep. time. And we'll, of course, have the quarters, semis, and finals action here for you to round out the weekend here in Okotoks on the Curling Live YouTube page. Make sure you subscribe if you want to know whenever it is we go live. So you don't have to follow me or all the teams on Twitter. You can subscribe to us on YouTube and get a notification every time we go live. So make sure you do that. We're going to have plenty of great curling action the rest of this weekend and all season long here on the Curling Live YouTube page. Yeah. Yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. Hard! 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 Okay. And yeah. Kyle Deering racking that one, so. Yeah, it was a little light, a little light, but. It's Epping still lying a couple here. And the opportunity now to peel the center. My bad, Pat. My bad. <laughs> Matt Cam dropping his broom. He did swear, but I'm going to let that one slide. <laughs> that was uh, that was only an S, and it was just an accident dropping the broom. I feel like any one of us could have made that mistake. Yeah, it wasn't a missed yep. shot or anything. He just felt yeah. bad for screwing up his teammate. Exactly. So Clean. we'll we'll let it we'll let it pass. I was worried there for a second. Over no on sheet back six, line? Ryland Kleider missing his last one. Yellow. So the Islanders with a steal of one. Like back line or what do you want? Yeah. They've got that game tied up at like four. They're about line, to start the through. six. Back line. Yeah, sure. So Kyle looking for, I think, a tap here, Chelsea. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I think Yo, so. Little heavy, little heavy. Rearrange yep. some angles in there. Heavy, heavy. Whoa. Through, like, hack. JD. Hack. JD. You're pretty close. No? No? Okay. Very nice split from Kyle Deering. Nice, Kyle. Good throw. That was definitely the call. Karsten said it was very close, and then they made it so yeah that uh great shot looking fairly buried behind that corner guard you could probably chase it with the out turn if you had to but can't look nice from the hack still got to deal with those reds in the middle but normal a great yeah. shot those are harder than uh harder than we think they are too typically to 
you got to really match the weight to the line with those splits that can be tricky. So nice shot there, and it is Epping lying three without the hammer here in seven. Just, just roll. Bum. Board. Yeah. I threw this a couple ends ago, and it, it curled up a little bit. Yeah. Whoa! Yep, 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 yep. yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Close. Whoa. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yep. Hard. 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 JD Hard. Lynn looking for a roll here. Just gets by that top stone. Pretty good, man. Ends up in a sort of a makeshift double yeah. that kind of worked out decently get, well get for them, Chelsea. I think that's a great result. <laughs> yeah. Move that top one over. So there's still two reds in the middle now that you have to deal with, but you're sitting third and fourth. So a big improvement for sure. This is a short run back, but if you're Team Sturmey right now, you've got to hope for some little misses from, uh, from Team Epping for sure. Matt Cam looking for the run back. That over curls on them a little bit, but he does still get rid of the offending yellow stone and rolls in for third shot, it looks like. Yeah, probably a uh, better result than what they were initially thinking, honestly, to Normal. cover that shot Might rock on the top of the button. Way, but. uh, this way, here. Yeah, okay. And if you could roll to like here, it's pretty good. Okay. Oh. Yep. Hard. Hard. Yep. Hard. Hard. Ah. Bit of an audible there. They were trying to get across Whoa, the face yeah. of that and roll big to the other side over on the word proud. Uh, other side of the 12 foot, but a little bit wide early. They said, whoa, right out of JD's hand and then tried to switch the call to the double, but a little bit too late and jam that red rock in there. That's my first shot. Me too. Yep. Not much good with that one. Because I think he has the triple. Right on the nose, John? Yeah. Like that? So this is not an easy shot here, Chelsea, going out into a path we haven't yeah. seen played a whole lot, and there's a Do potential like jam time? possibility if you get a little wide. Yeah, definitely not the prettiest. What, uh... You're closer to behind the hack than me. What do you think you can see of that? Oh, you can see probably half from the hack would be okay. my guess. More. Yeah, L little more than half. So reasonable. But to their point, it, the middle one's tough to make a play on, and the triple probably is there. So if you just straight pick that uh, yellow rock on the center line, then you might leave Karsten a chance yeah. at a triple to sit two very split on Whoa. different sides of the house. Now, you're not terribly sad to give up two. Yeah. Yep. But the way this end Whoa. has gone, you kind of don't want to now because you've can had control of it Whoa. for the most part. Go ahead. Go ahead, yeah, go, go ahead, go ahead. Very right, nice John. touch there from John Epping, and we've seen that all night long. Really good, and he's now lying four without the hammer here in seven. Yeah, really big for him to get to the nose there. You heard them uh, getting pat on it to sweep it to get it to curl. Looks like you just want to kill that, but if you don't get to the nose, then that triple that I talked about yeah. before still comes into play. How but now... How much should he see? John's shooter out counts that top yellow, so even the triple won't necessarily help you because you John Epping will still be sitting face, right? either first or second yeah. shot over there. I'm just thinking because, like, like, obviously you will have that, but still, still tough. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm with you, for sure. And how else do I get in there is my only question, right? But then, I don't know. Like, if you 
roll under here, then you got to play something over top of it on your next one. Yeah. Assuming he throws it in the boards. But no. No. And I don't think the triple does you much because you still are just. Wow. Oh. I don't even think. Yeah, if he rolls out, it does, but you know. But I don't even know if the triple's there to stick my shooter is the no, thing. No, I'm with you, yeah. Yeah, like I think if you stick it, you know, it's close. Yeah. Your other yeah, shot. Like, and like at least like at least then you're sitting one and three, right? But lots of you're saying you could roll here. The issue is then. And then he just yeah. You kind of have to, but. I think it's one of two things. It's either if we think we can skinny by the yellow and make a hit and roll like that, it's not a bad shot. Yeah, like at least we know this is there. Like this is yeah, true. physically possible. Like I, we don't know if that's there, and we definitely don't know if that's there. Is the tap good at all? Like if you nose tap the, the four? Yeah, it's just, it's just. This is really hard, is all right. Yeah. But it's definitely there. Well, they're all pretty hard. Yeah, right? like I well, I think this is easier. Than I yeah. know it's tap, but because because you can kind of just be under this yellow, or yeah. you can be under the red. Like sure. you, you do I have think some I'll probably under the red is your best. Yeah, yeah no, I agree. But Let's like even that. if it's here, then you might have yeah coming this way, right? Let's do that. I think we have to play the intern on it. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Uh, control. I think board might curl a bit too much. Yeah, that yeah, yellow. that's kind of wrong. So long talk there, but looks like they've decided to just get rid of this back red one. They're going to try to hit and roll buried behind the two middle ones. They won't be shot, I don't think, but it might set up something for Karsten's second. They're not in a, in a great spot right now, so this is a little bit Wait. of Hard. desperation. Yep. Hard. Yep. Hard. 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 Got to go. Hard. Got to go. 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 Whoa. Whoa. That will roll, but not behind the guard. That rolls completely out of the house. So Epping sitting three without the hammer, and this is getting into the danger zone here if you're Karsten Sturme. You ever do your little top shot you were calling? It's pretty good. Or is that just or just stick three? No, that's fine. As long as you don't leave him something thin triple to stick on that. Okay. You want to name? Yep. You want center line? Yep. If you split center, you're pretty happy. I like it. Frozen. Freezers split center. Just toss. I mean, if we're a millimeter around it, it's still pretty good. I'd love to be splitting center, frozen. So there you go. John telling you exactly what he wants. We don't have to say anything. His final stone <laughs> here in the seventh end. Just hand John the mic. He'll do it for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Already sitting three. No, I gave it. And is just looking for a, a little That's guard fine. here. Easy right now. Just split center. Just split Gonna center. Going to need to curl. Just split center. Line's good. Make it, make it curl a bit, Scott. Oh, just split center. Right here. Curl a bit. Curl. Curl. Oh. Oh. Yep. Oh. Really good, John. And that's exactly where John wanted to put it. Job, so this is uh, right. not an easy time if you're Carson Sturme here. No. Not a lot of joy in this house. Real bad. <laughs> it's real bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is uh, Karsten drawing around a rock that is essentially touching the button to oh. get a piece of the button. So... Not easy here if you're uh, Karsten you Sturme, and if you miss this, it's game over. So it's probably game over anyway. Epping would be up two with the hammer playing eight. Like but yeah, they likely play eight. If you they make likely, it, yeah, <laughs> if they make this, you play eight. If you don't make this, then it's likely Velcro time, as you Velcros, you so yeah. adequately say. Then draw to pin speed, or then draw to pin speed, or like peak speed. Yeah. 
So final stone here in the seventh end. Karsten Sturme needs a piece of the Line's button good. to stay alive in this game. Lots of room. Wait only. Line's tight. Right on the tee. You Line's got room. Tight. You got room. Line's tight. Line's fine. Hard. You got to go. Hard. You got to go. This looks like okay. it's coming down. Oh, I got that there. And that wouldn't even make the house. So it is a steal of three for John Epping, an official final score of eight to two. John Epping will make the playoffs. Karsten Sturme, unfortunate A and B final losers. So we'll see them in the C semis tomorrow. And as for us, John Epping, post game interview with oh, myself. Left. And we'll I be back tomorrow young. for some more Okotoks curling classic I action. Like six feet more. I so stay tuned after this ad, ad break. A few words with the winning skip, John Epping. What does 1800 tequila taste like? It tastes like victory. 1800, the world's most awarded tequila. What does 1800 tequila taste like? It tastes like victory. 1800, the world's most awarded tequila. DoorDash, dash that delicious and nutritious. Dash that savory and sweet. Get zero dollar delivery fees on your first order. DoorDash, dash that. back i'm back here with john epping second time we've got a chance to do this this weekend feels good john uh, you, you told me before the event started you felt like after last weekend you guys were rounding into form a little bit that looked like pretty close to your best form tonight you agree with that that looked really good out there yeah definitely i mean the first two games today were a bit of a grind and i thought tonight it was probably our best game of the year i think we were uh, kind of solid from um, top to bottom and uh, yeah it's uh it got us a win, and what a day. I'm, I'm pretty tired. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> well, yeah, you were telling me you're getting too old for three-game days. Like, oh. This is like, your mind must be loose. But you got you got one end off here, and it was, you know, you guys played so well, it felt like it was comfy out here. Yeah, you know what? We really controlled the game out there from uh, from the first uh, end. We really had a lot of pressure on them. And, uh, yeah, it was uh, it was just it's good to play a game like that. Nice to go into the playoffs uh, with some confidence. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you'll, you'll earn your, your sort of half day off tomorrow, and... You, uh, I have some sad news for myself to report. You won your bet. You yeah. didn't. You didn't swear on Mike, so you've successfully reduced Matt Cam's fine by ten dollars. Hey, so we, congratulations. <laughs> You're so well behaved out here, Joe. <laughs> we're trying to save money, man. We were on the road for four <laughs> weeks, so but times are tight. But no, it's awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, great game, John. Congratulations. Look forward to seeing you in the playoffs tomorrow. Those playoffs will be tomorrow night at 7.30, but we'll be back on Curling Live tomorrow morning, 11.30 local time, with some more live action on Curling Live's YouTube page. Subscribe, like. We'll see you here tomorrow. Thanks, John. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you soon. What does 1800 tequila taste like? It tastes like victory. 1800, the world's most awarded tequila.
does 1800 tequila taste like? It tastes like victory. 1800, the world's most awarded tequila. DoorDash, dash that delicious and nutritious, dash that savory and sweet. Get $0 delivery fees on your first order. 